Hello! When we were away in the bus, pretty quickly I realised that I didn't like being bent over a smelly drain when I needed to empty this thing. Woo! Right, let that do its thing. If you've done this, you kind of know that it's, it's not the end of the world, but there's surely a better way. And the way that I'm going to do it is by automating it using a ball valve. And we're going to fit it up directly to our tank today to be able to work off of our Victron system so I can switch it on from either my app or from inside to empty my wastewater tank. You could also apply the same principle just using a normal off on switch. So everything's relevant for what I'm gonna show you today. So the things that I'm gonna need is this three quarter ball valve. I've gone for three quarter because it actually matches the outlet on my tank. You need to use a ball valve, not a solenoid because a solenoid it can easily get clogged. Obviously this is going to have grey water running through it. So it's going to have some contaminants. So you, you want to try and limit the possibility of it getting blocked. I've bought some compression fix it, fittings and some copper pipe to make an outlet. So the first thing I need to do is just strip this old stuff off and then have a look at how I'm going to wire this up. Okay, so that's the old plug out, the old tap off and that's left me with a three-quarter opening underneath i already run a cable in underneath ran it up to where the servo is here's a quick anatomy of the servo the servo has two relays relay one and relay two are capable of handling six amps at 12 volts for higher amperage you're going to want to use it as a trigger to a separate relay i've actually done this but it's not necessary for this install as the ball valve only uses about half an amp. 2.5 millimeter cable was run to the COM port and then from the normally open position down to the ball valve. However, it's not long enough, so I'm just gonna extend it down to where it needs to cut them and I can show you how that valve works. You can see under here, I've got it just mocked up and installed. Obviously there's no PTFT tape on here yet, but this is how it's gonna sit. So I've got a compression fit in here that I'm going to put this copper pipe in. So it's 22 mil copper pipe I'm going to come in here. So I just need to cut this pipe down and I'm going to solder these joints up so it comes up underneath here, around and down underneath the vehicle. Never used these fittings before. They come pre-soldered in there. I'm going to add an extra bit of solder anyway. Don't judge me on my soldering. I was just making sure that it didn't fall off whilst in transit gonna add the fittings and put them in the tank and then we can see if this one opens and shuts as it should. At this point I added PTFT to the threads of all of the fittings whilst they were nice and clean on the bench. This thing is IP65 water resistant, it's basically the same as what you'd need to have it in like a shower enclosure so it is waterproof however I'm gonna wrap it in self amalgamating tape just to give it an extra layer of protection why not for the sake of a few quid before i did that i actually installed the ball valve in the tank and then made sure that everything was in the right direction the valve's in and powers have been applied to it so it's through here so all being well it should be open let's have a look is the valve open the valve is open you can see in there now if i disconnect the power now It's closed. Happy days. So I just need to, I'm just gonna obviously crimp this up and waterproof those joints and then add the tap on. And then we can set it up with the servo inside. This was tightened up with a spanner and some mole grips. And then I thought it looked a little bit wobbly. So I added one of these and it was solid as a rock. I might paint this, what do you reckon? I'm gonna use my GX as the switch and as an automated way of emptying the tank. So there's a few things that you need to do. To get my phone out, you can do it on this screen. You just literally follow the same things. It's just this way I can show you. So the first thing that you need to do is open up your VRM or up on the screen up here. Same principle, just open your settings. And then what I need to do first 
is to come into where my relays are. Hit relay. You need to put this on relay one because relay two, the only option at the moment available via Vitron is for it to be temperature controlled. So you need to come in here and make sure that tank pump is selected on relay one. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the tank pump here and then to be able to switch that on, all you need to do is come in here and switch it on, switch it off. And now that's not very convenient to me. I want to add a button on here that will allow me to do that. So all you need to do is to come on out. You need to come to the top here into display and language. And then display and language, you want to, to select show boat and motorhome overview. If I come across here now, I have this button. And at the moment it's set to auto. Click it here. That's going to turn my pump on, pump off, and it'll turn it off. Or you can have it on auto mode. Auto mode is interesting. I can select the tank. So in my case, wastewater tank. And I can select where I want to start pumping. When it's at 90% full, so I've got a 60 litre tank at the moment on the bottom. So at 90%, it's going to start pumping, okay? So I'm going to set it to stop pumping at 60%. So, so I'm going to use this feature and switch it to auto when I'm on a site where I don't have a grid to drive over. When this hits 90%, it will open the solenoid, empty out 24 litres. I've got a 25 litre container for it to go into, and then it will shut itself off. And then I'll be able to go out, empty that, and then carry on. Because we have added that motorhome view, when I want to operate it, literally it's gonna be simply a case of on, off, or auto. Let's just test to see if that's going to work. Okay, just fill it up. Well, not fill it up. Let's put a couple of bowls of water down, see if it works. need to get some fittings to make this work in progress better. Any ideas of how I could do that, let me know. I need to get some water as well. So this isn't the first Vitro mod we've done, so take a look at our other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys. Bye bye bye.